A CDN or a content delivery network can improve your WordPress website's performance by serving the content from locations that are closer to the users. And Amazon's CloudFront CDN is an industry standard service that every WordPress website owner should consider. In this video, you'll learn how you can configure CDN with WordPress using Amazon Web Services. Before we continue, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the notification icon so you don't miss out on great content related to WordPress and WooCommerce. Amazon CloudFront is a service part of Amazon Web Services that improves your site performance. It makes use of a global network of data centers that speed up the distribution of content to your users. It serves both dynamic and static content including image files, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Your users will, therefore, experience minimum latency and faster page load speeds. Here's how you can configure the CloudFront CDN with your WordPress website. You need AWS account to access CloudFront. So head to the website and click the Create a Free Account button. On the first step, provide your email and a password, along with an AWS account name. And click Continue. On the next step, provide some personal information like your full name, phone number, country, and address. Click Continue when you're done. Next, you need to provide some billing information. Note that you will not be charged for usage below AWS free tier limits. The free tier for Amazon CloudFront includes up to 50 GB data transfer and 2 million requests per month aggregated across all AWS Edge locations. Then, you need to confirm your identity via a code sent through text message or voice call. Enter the code on the next page. Finally, select a support plan for your account. We'll go with the free version. Your account has been created. You'll receive a confirmation via your email. Click Access Account. And log in using your credentials. Click on the drop-down next to your name on the top right and select My Security Credentials. We need the access keys for the integration. However, we need to create an IAM user first. Head to the Users section in the left sidebar. Set an appropriate username to the user. And only allow the programmatic access in the access type. Click Next. Select the third option Attach existing policies directly. Filter the options for CloudFront and enable CloudFront Full Access. Then click Next. Ignore the Tags section and click Next again. Finally, review the details and click Create User. The user has been created and you can download the CSV file containing the access key ID and the secret access key. Note them down securely as we'll need them later. We'll be using the Amazon AWS CDN plugin to simplify the process. After installing the plugin, head to the WP Admin AWS CDN tab. Here, provide the access key ID and the secret key you received in the previous step. Also, select a price class that's applicable to you. And click the Create Distribution button. You can check the progress by clicking the List AWS Distribution button and finish the process by entering the AWS assigned subdomain in the CNAME box. Later on, you can also disable the CDN or reset the whole configuration if you need to. Check out LearnWoo.com for more articles, videos, and resources related to WordPress and WooCommerce. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media channels. And do let us know in the comment section if you want us to cover a specific topic or if you have any ideas or suggestions.